All right, so ready for more creative uh, juices flowing here. Uh, what we're gonna do is take a look at paint.net. And the reason I'm taking a look at this is because it's a free program that you can download right now and do all your editing for your pictures and backgrounds and, and whatever else you may have. Uh, I myself, I use Photoshop and uh, if you already have Photoshop, then sure, I would recommend using that for these processes. Um, uh, and if you, you know, use paint.net for a while and you want to kind of upgrade to something, then definitely Photoshop is the state of the art program to use for uh, any sort of, um, you know, image manipulation, creation, editing, what have you. So, um, but paint.net is, is great because uh, it's free and it can do more, many more things than you probably need it to. And uh, so what, that's what we're going to look at today. You can uh, just go to paint.net here and uh, click to download it. Now, obviously they're trying to sell other stuff here, whatever, and it can be a little confusing about uh, what to download. And um, if you're looking here, I'll show you this on this screen. It's got this big download button. You think, oh, I must, uh, uh, you know, I got to click that. And when I went to download it, I did click it. And it just takes you to some other advertising and stuff like that. And uh, that's not what you want. Um, now, uh, you can click here to click download. Uh, again, you reach this screen. Um, and down here is where you actually download it so don't click that big download button and uh, which I just did accidentally see it just brings you to this thing of something else you can download okay so I don't recommend that so here we are and um, it says if you would like to install paint.net please one of the download buttons below and you just click on this download now and now it gets again a little bit confusing. You think, oh, I must click down here, but that's not it. It's up here on the right hand side, free download now, paint.net, click on that, and then it brings it onto your computer. As you see here, it's gonna be in a zip file. So uh, download it to where you normally down your uh, programs, which is probably your programs file. For example, I would go here, Here's my programs files, or I would find it, download it into uh, 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 onto this area here, and then I would um, and then un uh, unzip the file. So usually I would create another folder, put it in that folder, then unzip it, and that gives me the executable file, which is a .exe file. Double click that, and then that obviously uh, installs it on your computer. All right, so once you have it, you will have, and start it up, you will have this on your screen. Okay, so let's just have a look here. And now, first thing you wanna do, and what we're gonna do right now, is create a background for your PowerPoint. Now, PowerPoint already comes with tons of backgrounds and things like that that you can use that are pre-made. Uh, but um, everybody's using those and they're not all that interesting sometimes and you may want to create your own background because it has your branding on it or, or what have you and uh, so to create a background for PowerPoint you click on new and you want to choose the um, height and width of that background and for PowerPoint for a um, it can either be a 640 by 480. Uh, there's actually a few different sizes, but the workflow that we're talking about here is we're using a 16 by nine aspect ratio for everything. So the screen capture that we're shooting and the PowerPoint that we're gonna shoot and everything is gonna fit into that 16 by nine ratio. It kind of gives it that wider look, uh, which is that kind of HD kind of wide looking frame um, which is fairly pleasing and just a little bit different more like a movie screen really so the size here is uh, width is uh, 10 10 inches make sure inches is selected here 
and it's uh, 5.63 uh, inches high okay and just click all right okay now we have there's that's what I'm talking about is that kind of um, ratio of uh, picture that we're we're actually shooting with the video and everything so I'm just gonna move this up so you can see it okay now if with the background you're gonna to want to bring in some other images here you may want to color this background um, these are all your tools over here in paint.net um, this is the layer that you happen to be working on right now we're just working on the first layer and um, so let's first say okay well we want to grab an image so we want to grab an image we go file open and now you can either import an image directly say for example you could go image uh, actually sorry layers import from file okay now you could just go and grab uh, let's see here I have a uh, uh, a file here which is like all the stock images that I've downloaded over time and um, I might be grabbing anything here that I might want to put on this background so I'd find something let's say okay well let's say this caveman here he's pretty cool looking all right so now he's in there and all I gotta do to have him on my background is resize and the way that I do that is same thing in Photoshop is that I hold down the shift key because I want to maintain the proportion and um, and then just drag it down now click this move tool this is the selection tool here if it isn't already and now you're gonna put it to wherever you want it now you might be putting your logo here or you might be putting some text here or whatever and this is gonna be the background slide for your PowerPoint which is gonna appear on any or possibly even all of your slides for your presentation okay so this is where your branding is or whatever alright so um, that looks good enough to show as, a, as an example to what we're doing here uh, I'm gonna want to save this now and uh, I'm gonna save it as let's see so I'm gonna save it here as a PPT BG1 so PowerPoint background 1 and I'm gonna click Save and yes I'm gonna replace it okay and there it's ready to go for my PowerPoint so in the next video I'm gonna show you how to bring that into your PowerPoint and uh, set up your PowerPoint for your presentation